Hey guys, it's Crossfire time. And by Crossfire, of course, I'm talking about this quadcopter, the Crossfire 2 that I 3D printed. Last time you saw, well, I had the frame done. It looked exactly like this. And yep, here it is. It looks exactly like this. So, got the electronics in. The motors I chose did not line up with the mounting pattern on the arms. Now I've got a dilemma. Do I just print new arms or do I redo the whole thing? That's the question. Now, when I first made this, I printed it in PLA because I thought printing these big arms would be easier in PLA and than doing ABS, even though I knew that ABS was the correct material to use for this. I just tried it and I regretted it as soon as I did it, even though I never even had a chance to prove that I was right about it being a bad idea. Now they do have an updated arm for this which has a lot more holes here and other improvements as well, including the fact that the foot is a separate piece, which is kick-ass because apparently people break these all the time. Um, the real issue is white ABS is more like yellow. It does not look the same as this white PLA at all. And I just have a funny feeling that if I just printed the arm and left the rest of this frame, the other white PLA, that I would be very unhappy with it and it would drive me crazy. Or I'd end up redoing it anyway. So, <clears throat> should I start over? Or should I just... Hey, you it? said it yourself. You printed it in the wrong plastic in the first place. You know it's going to drive you crazy. You better just redo it because it's not going to match it. Man, you're you don't have any it. idea just how long it right. it's going to take to reprint right all those this time. pieces. Yeah, well, they both have a point. I mean, I'm, I'm, I am lazy. That that is true for sure. But I don't want to regret this, and I'd rather do it right the first time. So I'm gonna have to go with just reprint the whole damn thing. To the printer. I got some good news, and I got some really good news. The good news is you're not gonna have to watch me print this thing again. And the reason is. The really good news, it's done already. So, um, you already had to suffer through that once, so I figured that was enough. So anyway, let's go over uh, what this thing's got on it real quick. And then we'll take it outside to fly because yesterday it looked like this. Oh, man. And today it looks like this outside. So, hooray Seattle weather. Okay, so first thing, this thing is printed in ABS, the whole thing. Um, the new arms are the main feature that made me reprint it. Um, you can't see them, but there are a lot of mounting holes for these motors that the other arms didn't have. So if you've got various uh, motors, they'll probably, hopefully they'll all fit. Um, this foot is removable. You can see it's just got a circular thing here that's I hot glued it in place so it doesn't fall out. But it also covers the screw holes on the bottom of the motor. Starting with motors and props, uh, the motors are AX4008Q-620KV. Um, they're about $38 a piece from Hobby King, which is not cheap, unfortunately, but hopefully they'll be perfect for this application. The props are APC 10 by 47 Slow Flyer. Um, they're about $10 a pair, and these are plastic. Um, we'll see how that does. Um, and now moving up the arm here. We've got ESCs, and these are the F30A HV Fire Red ESCs from Ready to Fly Quads. Um, these are the exact same ones I used on the 3D printed Inspire One project. Had good luck with those, so I decided to try them again. Uh, these are about $12 a piece. Now, moving further in, you've got the receiver for the Tranis, which is an X8R connected via S bus, so it only has one. You can see that only has one cable going between the receiver and the Pixhawk, which is the flight controller I chose. I decided to not do an APM like I said I was going to before, um, simply because those are obsolete. And this, uh, well, they're way more expensive, but gives you more flexibility, such as this S-Bus input that the APM does not have. So I had to print... Well, since I was reprinting any, everything, I did print a different mount for the flight controller than the one I had printed originally. On top, we have the, the arm button here, buzzer, and the GPS. So, 
You'll also notice on the front here, I've got the Hero 2 uh, GoPro mounted on there and instead of the Hero 4 and that is because if you've seen my other copter videos where I fly things for the first time, you'll know how that uh, usually turns out for me. So <clears throat> I don't want to plow my Hero 4 into the ground on the first flight. So we're going to fly with this one on there first and see. Um, that is connected to the battery tray, which is connected via gimbal balls to the rest of it. So it's got a little bit of shock absorption, but I'm not expecting good video out of this. This is not my video rig. This is just something that I'm hoping will be just fun for general flying and maybe experimenting with electronics and configuration since this thing has a lot of space and should be pretty flexible. I mean, that printed Inspire 1 was terrible. There was no room for anything, so this should be a lot better in that regard. As long as it works, hopefully this is a good combination of electronics and propellers. We shall see. I am using the same uh, 5 amp batteries that I used on the other copter. They fit perfectly on here, except this thing is way, 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 way lighter. The, the printed Inspire 1 thing was a beast. It's just this big hunk of plastic pig is ridiculous. This thing probably weighs less than half the amount of that other one, so I'm hoping I can get more than 12 minutes of flight time out of this, but let's go find out. All right, finally, the moment I've been waiting for and at least two of you have been asking about. We are at the park. This thing's ready to go. It's powered on. Telemetry lost. Telemetry recovered. Yeah. Telemetry see? lost. It actually doesn't. Telemetry recovered. It actually doesn't work so good if they're too close together. Anyhow, uh, let's see if we can uh, hopefully not crash this thing this time, like I do every other thing. So. Telemetry lost. Telemetry recovered. Okay, controls are pointed the right direction. That's a good start. Daddy, am I right here? Is this trying to find right here? Daddy, am I trying to find right here? Daddy, Daddy. Yes. Oh, you know what? I forgot to start the camera. Forgot to turn on the GoPro. Oops. Seriously? Yeah, but no, seriously. This is the first time I've ever flown it. Awesome. I'm shaking so hard. Thing is pretty darn stable.
That was close, I almost hit the tree. Yes, yes, yes. This thing is awesome. Love it. So anyway, anyway, there you have it. Crossfire 2 by Mikey B. Printed ABS from Thingiverse. Probably $400 worth of parts to build this. Uh, oh yeah, the GoPro still on. Anyway, if you enjoyed this and want to see more stuff, don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I should be going out to shoot those 3D printed guns in a week or so, so stay tuned for that. Um, unless you don't like guns, in which case you can just skip that whole video and I won't feel bad. But anyway, this copter is awesome. Easy to fly, lots of fun, so go build one. <laughs>